All right, we had the uh, Raw show Monday night, which was kind of a by-the-numbers, really a nothing-happening show, except we did have a return, Midnight and that is after here. the uh, Raquel Rodriguez versus Rhea Ripley main event, out came Nia Jax. Okay, so real quick on, on a few things. Um, obviously, as everyone knows, tomorrow is the start of the new company. WWE uh, will become part of TKO. They're going to be merging, and uh, Vince McMahon is back. He made multiple changes to the show tonight. Um, there were also multiple changes made by Levesque at the last minute. So the show was, if the, sh the show was, you know, a lot of stuff wasn't advertised on the show, like most of it. Um, and the reason is, is because they were changing all day long. But Vince is back. Vince made significant changes to the show. And, um, you know, I mean, I don't know what the changes were. I'm sure that they will probably come out tomorrow. Uh, the only person who, I mean, one person who just mentioned it to me, and then I asked some others, and they said, the, all I heard was that they were probably changes for the better, but, you know, but there was many of them. So, uh, but Vince is back from his um, surgery leave. He's back in the chair he was not in roanoke um he did this from you know he but he was as far you know involved in the uh production of the show from via remote great yeah and uh you know i mean going forward he's the guy you know he's the chairman um and uh he's running the wrestling company i know that there's the whole thing of he's second in command to Ari emmanuel um or tied for second in command i think uh I think, is, I think Mark Shapiro's at the same level. But um, but when it comes to wrestling, Ari Emanuel is very willing to say, I don't know wrestling. You know, he knows wrestling. So it's Vince's baby when it comes to the creative end. It's Vince's baby when it comes to decisions making on the company um, and all that. You know, Ari Emanuel and Nick Khan and, and Mark Shapiro are going to be the guys who are handling the TV negotiations. That's that they will do. And um, even then, you know, Vince will have uh, um, power to a degree over that. But, but that will be, you know, I mean, that's a pretty heavy uh, crew of people when you got Ari and Nick Khan together on these a new round of negotiations. Something else also, when uh, Garrett and I were talking on, I think it was Garrett and I were talking about uh, the, um, on Friday, about, you know, Disney being interested in SmackDown. You know, the belief is, is that uh, Raw and NXT will probably stay with USA, although, you know, WWE is looking for a huge increase in price for both of those shows, especially Raw, obviously, from, from 465 to like 700. Um, as far as SmackDown goes, you know, time will tell, but there's a, a, a feeling that, that Fox is not going to go for the 300, which is what WWE is trying to get out of SmackDown or, or more. And, um, that Disney and Amazon are probably the two companies most in contention for it. And if it's Disney, I brought up, you know, ABC or FX, probably FX, um, it's not out of the realm of possibility that it could be on ABC, but ABC on Fridays, you know, they have had, um, you know, 2020 and, and Shark Tank, which is one of their, you know, which is actually a pretty highly rated show. And even though it's not as highly rated as SmackDown most weeks now, I mean, it, it, it was before, but lately it has not been. It still fetches higher ad rates for ABC than SmackDown would. So because of that, you know, it... it it doesn't necessarily make the most sense for ABC, even though SmackDown's been abs absolutely killing it, you know, when it comes to uh, Friday Night Network television, um, for them to necessarily make that change. But, I mean, I hadn't really heard people talking about it on ABC, just the possibility that it could be. And, you know, the other thing, too, is, is they also could change nights. They're not married to Friday. They're on Friday because Fox wanted them on Friday. You know, if you remember, they were on Tuesday um, for a long, long time. They've been on Thursday. They've been on, they're basically on the night that the network that owns the rights wants them to be on. So perhaps there's another night that ABC would want them, or perhaps they want them to boost FX, you know, which uh, they will boost FX, you know, greatly because it's, 
You know, it's the number one show on a weekly basis when it comes to uh, cable, you know, for, on a year-round basis, 52 weeks a year. I mean, it's not always number one. I mean, obviously, football's always going to beat it. Um, big sports events will always beat it. But it's a steady performer. You know, it'll be a steady performer week in and week out on cable. Uh, uh, now, their numbers will be much, much lower if they go to FX than they are on Fox. Um, but, you know, and the numbers will be lower if they go on Amazon, too, than, than if they're on network TV. But, uh, yeah, so ABC is, on, on for a Friday, ABC is pretty much unlikely. So the show went up with Jey Uso coming down to the ring, and Kevin Owens interrupted, and no Sami Zayn on the show here tonight. And Kevin said that you've got a couple of people in your corner, Cody, Sammy, but most everybody in the locker room, they don't like you, they don't trust you, and you have a long way to go if you want to earn my trust and respect. So then the judgment day came out, and Finn says, why are you trying to prove yourself to old Kevin Owens here? I respect you. Everyone in the judgment day respects you, Jay. So they're trying to recruit him into the judgment day, and Priest says, listen, we thought we had a match with you and Sammy tonight, Kevin. Where is he? And Kevin says, well, Sammy's not here, but I don't care. I'll fight all three if you have to. And Jay says, well, Kevin, don't worry about Sammy. I'm here for you tonight. And if you want my respect or trust, how about it? Two of us versus the Judgment Day. So Kevin says, let's do it. Brawl breaks out. Go to break. Come back for the match. It's Kevin and Jay versus Finn and Priest. And the match is good. It's a good match. And finally there at the end, Kevin gets a hot tag. And it breaks down into the big four-way. And in the middle of this melee... Jay throws a super kick and he super kicks Kevin. And Which was a miscue, yep, clearly. It was an accident. Yep. And uh, he gets taken out. Finn comes off the top with a coup de gras, gets the pin. And then Kevin's leaving the ring and he looks at Jay and he just shakes his head and he walks off. And after the break, he's screaming at him and Jay's trying to apologize and Kevin says he doesn't want to hear it. He says, Why don't you go find your new bloodline? They're in the Judgment Day locker room. And he storms off. So uh, that is the. That's the current Bloodline storyline on the Judgment Day show, essentially. They are this version of the Bloodline, and they want to recruit Jey Uso, and he's a man without a lot of friends. Well, we'll see. Tonight was the first Monday night show, you know, Monday night football show. So, yeah, it uh, sure was. So we'll see how... Uh, I mean, they didn't load up the show. No, you they know, did I mean, not. A lot of years, they'll load up the show on the first week knowing... That they'll take a hit this this year um you know i mean it it was it was as normal a show as there could be and cody didn't wrestle um you know um it was it's, it was like every other week other than the nijax thing at the end and the drew you know the drew thing which is evolved the evolving drew what appears to be a heel turn hey guys did you love this clip if so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.